Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the worst convention ever. So because we're on this topic, we have to talk about DASCON, which was one of the most epic fails. It's hard to explain exactly what happened. You just have to see these videos too. I, honestly, I don't even believe this is real life. We currently have a donation button up on our website and any little bit that like helps. $10, $1, anything helps for us to stay here until the rest of the weekend. Uh, unfortunately, this is something that has been completely out of our control. This is not something that we foresaw, and this is not something that we expected by any sort of means. Uh, beyond that, there is a post on our blog that went out about it. People are assuming that it was 4chan because we were uh, targeting them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not 4chan. Uh, this would be the best hack ever to get us off here right now. To get you all in this room. Not 4chan. Um, we're trying to handle it with as much grace as possible, but we do not want to let the system beat us at this point. Because everybody's having a very good time until about five minutes ago. This cash is Yes, we have yes. a donation back. Long one has a donation back up here. <laughs> But um, unfortunately, what I have to tell you guys is that basically, Night Vale uh, just walked. What? what? Okay, if everyone would like to collectively, like, groan and sigh together, that's what I've been doing, so we can take a second to do that. So on three, we're all gonna sigh together, okay? So one, two. Give me back my money! Okay. So, you guys have been more than extremely patient with us, especially after all of the craziness that happened last night, and I literally can't tell you guys how much that means to us, but what happened today was just a fluke, and basically what happened was they wanted everything up front, which, and they didn't want to wait until after their panel, like we had to go run to a bank, and they refused to wait until after their panel to let us give them the rest. So, I don't really know what to tell you guys about that. Again, I am so sorry we didn't have a chance to run to the bank before. Hey guys, so if you felt DashCon was bad in the videos above, then you have no idea how bad Carmageddon was. Carmageddon was the definition of mismanaging your money and then realizing in hindsight that it was a terrible decision and then deciding not to pay. Carmageddon had a $25,000 prize payout. People were having trouble collecting on this prize. And why would this be the case? Because only 100 people showed up to Carmageddon. And out of that 100 people, at least 8 to 10 of them were paid to be there. They were magic celebrities like Brian Kibler, Efro, uh, Michelle Robinson. I mean, you have 10 people they paid probably a appearance fee, hotel, airplane, and these are famous people with huge Twitter accounts, huge social media. Um, that's also what's kind of mind boggling to me was they decided as a group not to promote the event. Brian Kibler could have a Brian Kibler convention and that would probably get like 500 to 1000 people himself. But anyway, Carmageddon spent $40,000 on promotion. They, spent, they then said, we're going to set aside $25,000 for prize support. They're located in Las Vegas. That convention is not cheaper than DashCon. So they are pretty much out $100,000 or at least $75,000 up front. And they decide, hey, we're not going to pay the prize support. Imagine if the prize support wasn't $25,000. It was $25,000 and 100 people showed up. 10 of them were probably paid to be there. So 90 people, let's say 90 players show up and what if you didn't have a price support of over $250, $250 a person? They, they pay $42 to do sealed and draft, so they get their money from the booster packs, and then 
everyone makes $250. That's what would have happened if all 90 or 100 people decided, hey, we don't wanna play, we will split the prize. Problem is the prize obviously will never be paid because this company has mismanaged money to an epic proportion. This is, I've never seen this. This is incredibly epic. In my opinion, it puts Dashcon, it makes Dashcon seem like a very well run machine because multiply everything that happened to Dashcon by five and then put it, put the burden. So Dashcon, at least, you know, $100 here, $400 here, that was spread out to the participants. This particular burden is one person, one person with a revolutionary uh, technology, I guess, for magic. And now he's not going to pay his $25,000 prize payout. Um, I, I mean, I can blame him, but it's understandable that he probably doesn't have the money to pay it. 